Welcome back to Giant Monster Games. Is my no mic isn't working. I just didn't think it was working for a second there. We're playing elves for our top ten countdown. I I don't really like this opening hand because I like to have some mana dorks in my opening elf kind of hand. Just like this one, especially having elvish arch druid is very very fun. Uh, yeah, you can go to the bottom. As much as I would love to have a second clan color, I think we're going to not go for clan color as a second one. I, mean, I guess we could have. We have land, land, land. Maybe we should have. Maybe that was a bad call. Maybe I made a mistake literally before I even started playing. It's fine. Literally not the end of the world. Not the end of the world. So when we're playing against uh, something budget looking like, it's very strange. You don't often see uh, Evolving Wilds in a deck. I am playing in the Tournament Practice area, by the way. I'm not, uh, this is not going through a league. I'm not playing, I'm playing in the Tournament Practice area. And it looks like we're playing against a Mill deck. Mill deck it is. Uh, that's why they're playing Evolving Wilds. They're trying to get, like, super budget extra extra triggers off of uh, Krabby Patties, as, as, um, as Jolt would say. Krabby Patties. Oh, that's kind of fun. There's like this nice little symbol at the bottom corner here now. I haven't played MTGO for a while. It's like a triggered event thing that shows you. That looks, that's kind of fun. Very fun. Very, very fun indeed. So how have you guys been? How have you guys been? I haven't been on the channel for a while. At least not playing MTGO on the channel for a while. So it's uh, I feel a little bit rusty. Uh, I guess the last time I was playing, I was playing... Ooh, ooh, ooh. I guess we go Archdruid. Just, just run it out. Just go all out aggro -y. Um, Yeah, uh, I, I, as I said, as you guys may or may not notice, uh, I have been away for a while because I uh, a whole bunch of stuff has happened. I think I've, I've probably said this like the last like seven videos, so I probably don't need to say it again, so I'm not going to... Oh, Mind Funeral. That's exciting. Uh, yeah, so... Oop. 14 cards, cards revealed. Hold on, this is... Uh, Mind funeral, target opponent reveals lands until they reveal. Ooh, until four lands are revealed. That is that is the card to play against us when we're playing a very light land deck. Yikes. Okay, well. Um, another forest. Another forest is not, not that bad. Um, I'm tempted to run down most of my things. And then start swinging for the fences. Because I think we need to... We really need to start swinging at our opponent, like, really, really soon. So, I'm thinking... Huh. What's the best way to do this? I guess if we play Dwyan's Elite. It makes us four elves. Archdruid. Um, I'm just wondering, do we have enough for... So, this is what? Four... One, two, three, four, five. We could play both of these guys. I guess so. So play the clan caller. And then we play this guy with the rest of the mana. And then we go to combat, swing for four. Next turn, swing for lethal, I think? I think that's going to be the plan. I think that is going to be the plan. Our opponent's going to need to block his with his Krabby Patties, and he and or needs to wipe our stuff real, really quick here. And uh, because we're playing against a mill deck, I am well aware that I do not, do not search. If he, like, blows up something and I have the ability to search, I do not search. Definitely, definitely not. That is the, that would be the end of me if I did that. So, yes. Um, as I was saying, though, let me just uh, digress back a little bit. So we're playing this this game. What is this? Exile all creatures from target player's graveyard. Gain three life recheck. Okay. That may not be enough for him still. 55 life. Is it 4, 8? No, it might be enough. Might. Uh, I guess he, like, puts himself off a turn to do that, though. So it's not the end of the world. Uh, we just need to start getting more aggro -y stuff into play. Forest is not going to do it. Um... So here's the question. Do we get more colors in or do we win? Four, eight, um, 18, oh no, four, eight, uh, nine, 10, 13, 16, 20, 24. Um, I guess we just go swinging everything in? I guess. The other option is to play another clan caller. Like we could, we could literally play another clan caller by searching up another clan caller. Uh, but then we'd use the archdruid. Yeah, 
I think that's the way we're going to go. So it's going to be this way. So all of the mana from here. Grab the clan cutter. Caller comes into play. And then I guess we go to combat and swing with all of these guys. And it's gonna it's gonna be I think we're gonna be I think we're gonna be okay. We have plenty of cards in our, our deck still, so unfortunately we drew into another land, which is really doesn't help us out. And we don't have any black mana. So yes. Thinking a lot. Haven't played elves in a while. I uh, I quite enjoy playing elves, even though it is like a very like linear aggro strategy, uh, which is I think a lot of people complain about the kind of the linear decks in modern right now, um, such as elves and hollow one and stuff like that. Uh, what is this? Draw cards. Uh, if a card has twenty or more cards in it, draw three cards instead. That I feel like what he did excel. I guess he he got a bunch of, of life, but exiling all the creatures out of my graveyard means he could have drawn more cards if he would have not done that. Too late for our opponent, I guess. Let's see. I guess the real question is, is our opponent going to scoop? Because he's uh, he's playing like a more budget-style deck. So there's the black mana we were talking about. Do we... I think we just go combat attack with everything. We could obviously do another, another clan caller. But I think we go attack everything and go for... Hold on. Uh, it's too late now. We're already in attack phase. I was wondering if we play the tap these guys down if we actually would get more damage in but i don't think we do we definitely get more damage this way okay and then we're gonna play elves of deep shadow the deepest shadow of elves yes okay opponent's down to six opponent's dead next turn no matter what i forgot to play this does not it really does not matter our opponent needs a wipe a board wipe i wonder if our opponent's gonna scoop this match actually so, we go to sideboard. He's still playing. He's still playing. So, we're playing against a mill deck, uh, which means what? It means we put duresses in. Uh, and also means that we take out what? Um, I also think we also put in the Rex Sages, actually. Do I? Hmm, maybe not. Um, or do I even put duresses in? Maybe I throw two duresses in and I take out what? Uh probably take out a Sylvan Messenger. Actually, probably take out two Sylvan Messengers for it. Just, just like this. Just like this. We'll see how it pans out. See how it pans out indeed. So yeah, hopefully my commentary will get better as I play more games, because I haven't played I haven't played Magic in a while. Um, I mean, I, should, I say that I say I haven't played Magic in a while. I've uh, I played a whole bunch of Dredge when... Uh, um, do I keep this? I keep this. Yes, we 100% keep this. Um, I played a whole bunch of dredge uh, once uh, when after um, <laughs> what is it? Creeping, creeping chill. Once creeping chill came out because I owned all the dredge cards already. I like had the deck on empty Joe and I have it in paper, so I was like, okay, let's just play a whole bunch of dredge because I love playing dredge. Um, well, it was 50-50, not the end of the world. Uh, so I played a whole bunch of dredge, but other than that, I I've been playing a little bit of paper. Kind of started playing paper again now. Now that, like, life for me has calmed down, I'm like, okay, I can get back to doing, like, normal day-to-day -day stuff. And I guess we go like this. So we are going to pay life to get mana for this one, but it's not the end of the world. Not the end of the world at all. And I guess we'll pay life for this. I'm not really concerned about life. Our opponent's not going to kill us by dealing damage, so we can kind of just drain ourselves as much as we need to. Uh, target player puts the top eight cards of the... Okay, well, there goes more stuff into our graveyard. I guess that's kind of what we, we're expecting. We're expecting our opponent to just, like, mill us down as fast as possible. And an Elves of Lenoir variety. Um, we could... I need a mana... More mana producers is what I need. So... I guess we go... Green for the Lenoir Elves. And I think we go Elvish Visionary. Because it draws us a card. Uh, it's probably going to be the better better bet of this two. Draw an extra card, hopefully see more aggro-y stuff, see more things that look uh, remotely similar to uh, not a forest. <laughs> I guess forests are fine. Uh, what we're looking for is a uh, Elvish Arch Druid. That would be really good. I guess we could have obviously technically played the, the Chancellor as well. The thing is, there's no point in playing Chancellor on turn two. Just take Chancellor, Clan Caller. There's no point in playing Clan Caller on turn two uh, when we're not going to do anything with it. We'd rather play more Mana Acceleration slash Card Draw. 
Um, so opponent's going to flash back, putting more stuff. Uh, an Archdude has not been put into the graveyard yet. So that's fine. Fine by us. Lead the Stampede could be fine as well. Uh, we technically have enough mana for this guy. What do I do? I could play two things. I could play Azuri Renegade Leader and Dwyan's Elite. Technically. Um, I think that's the way we go. So again, burning ourselves for all of the things that like burning. By burning, I mean we're paying life to play mana, black mana. And we get an extra elf. We play Azuri. And then next turn we swing in for a bunch. We swing in for one this turn as well. Yay! Swing in for one damage. <laughs> Go, Elvish Visionary. You can do it. I believe in you. And that's going to be our opponent's turn. So our opponent needs to get rid of this guy. Otherwise, next turn he's basically dead. That's the long and short of it. Uh, I think it's going to be dead. So it's what? 4, uh, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. So we're swinging for 21 next turn with this. Plus we also swing with him as well. We also swing with this guy. So that's uh, a lot. So our opponent uh, is dead next turn unless they have something special hidden up their sleeve. Which I don't think they have. Oh, I guess we actually need to tap these guys down. So maybe they're not dead. Maybe they're not dead. Um, okay. If that is the case. Um, and this is elf creatures, including him. So I'd be swinging for 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. One short. That's no fun. Um, well, instead of doing that, let's get more. Let's just get more more stuff on the battlefield. So when we do swing next turn, we actually have lethal for sure, for sure. Go like this, and then we swing for a bunch next this turn, and then swing for even more next turn. Opponent needs to mill us half our deck. Highly unlikely. Uh, we guess we theoretically could also play lead the stampede, but I think we would rather just go for damage at this point. Our opponent's basically dead. So we just just go for it. Just just go. I choose you, Mr. Elf. Five damage. If we draw into a, uh, a Shaman of the Pack, it's be really fun. It's just a, that's, that's the one thing about Mildex lately. Yeah, our Mildex just... Mildex don't pack the punch they need to to win. Uh, it's like... Think of it this way. Infect needs to do 10 points of damage to win. Uh, every other deck needs to do 20... And a mill deck needs to do 60. <laughs> so, uh, mill decks just are always going to have a hard time. Um, the only time I find that a mill deck does well is if it is also doing, like, the prison style thing. If you're basically playing a prison deck. Hey, GG from our opponent. If you're playing a prison style deck, you can also do well with, uh, or a turbo fog, maybe, uh, with mill decks. So, GG from our opponent. He doesn't have anything. Now, the question is, is he going to time out? Is he actually going to scoop the game? Because he hasn't said anything yet. Uh, oh, hey, it's actually someone that knows, knows the channel, he says, love his videos, keep it up, yeah, okay, uh, until next time though guys, my name's Adrian, this has been Giant Monster Games, thanks for watching, and don't forget to game and Christmas like a giant monster. Thanks for watching the videos here on Giant Monster Games. If you want to support the channel directly, we now have a Patreon page which you can go and become part of the broader Giant Monster Games community. Additionally, if you want to see some other awesome videos, you can click right here or right here.